he loved the Italian jackets, but he was always so cold in the t- Italian jackets. He's like, then he just figured there's no, there's no one, there's no one doing a cross between them both, you know. So he said it took a long time for him to come up with it, but they luckily got investors and they got uh, uh, some equity behind them, and they were able to develop this brand and that all cnbc's and cnn outside commentators whenever they're like in the snow or in the rain they use their jackets because they look professional but they're they're also staying warm you know and dry and he was like it's it's not going to soak up all the water he's or it's not going to make you look like a like a big trash bag you know oh we're live now we're out we figured it out i'm on the channel right now it doesn't Yes. Where where would it have it? Playlist, maybe? Um, oh. I'm not Escobar style. What's up, buddy? Um, can you see me? I can see you. Can we, maybe community? Should I go on there? No. So basically, guys, this is our first live stream. Can you see both of us? And where did you find this live stream? Because we don't <laughs> know how to share it. <laughs> Um, let me see. I'm, we're just playing around with this platform. It's kind of new to us. So um, basically... Do I have to be subscribed? So see, I can add this now to the to the live stream, which is cool. Um, so I'm on there right now, right? Yes. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. But where did, where did our audience go? Because I'm actually, I'm on the YouTube right now. I don't... Does it say we're live... Because are you logged into the YouTube? No, I'm not. I, I'm on. I just typed in. I'm on a private uh, page. Okay. Should I sign in? Um, no. Everyone no, says they can because see I... us. <laughs> Someone text Blake the link to get to this. <laughs> YouTube sent them a notification, which is cool. Search Jen Slam. Oh, so do, come up. do, do, do I have to be subscribed? You're not subscribed to your own channel, Blake. No. Oh, oh, oh I see it. I see it. I see it. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. dude, I can see us. Okay, cool. Now mute mute yourself on the computer, and then we're good. Uh, let's see. All right, what's up, guys? See, now I can switch between this and this. All right, awesome, guys. So thanks for tuning in. If you guys can see us, we're trying to figure this out for the first time. So after this, it will be a little more um, cohesive and straightforward. But we were just going to do a little Q&A right now because we are both stuck at home and trying to figure out how to put out content when we can't get together. Now I'm only seeing you. Oh, now I'm seeing both of us. Yeah, see, I can, I can switch the cameras around. So now it'll just mm. now it's just you talking. All right. It's probably delayed a little bit though, on uh, from what you're hearing, from what we're saying. Forty four and watching now, so it's good that we're te- it's good that we're testing it out. Yes. Sorry guys, we don't do a lot of uh, Instagram lives or. I guess these are, we've never done a YouTube Come live. On, dude. Sorry. We do a lot of Instagram lives because Instagram makes it easy to do. YouTube does not. So you do a lot of Instagram lives. Yes. I, I, I don't do any of you, that. You were live with the suited racer. Once, dude. Oh, I see where you typed. Yes. So this is dope. Okay. Um, so if you guys have any questions, Ask them in the comments below, and then we will answer them. What's up, Alex? Alex says he's been watching us since high school. I know. <laughs> Blake, do a closet tour. Is that that's from Amir? Right. For sure. Uh, so what are we doing did, with did, all did the? Did you plan the blue claps? I mean the blue caps. No, <laughs> we didn't. We just coordinate. What kind of hat is that? Uh, G four, the golf company. Damn. You know. You know. You know. So you, can you see the the question on the screen? Hold on. Let, let, let me let me move the the camera the the, ca- the computer so that way I could read the questions as well. So I'm not turning sideways. Yes. Sorry, it's gonna be a little bumpy. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out, guys. This is why we're doing it now. Figure this out. <laughs> Hold on a second. This was my idea, of course. 
I can't see the hold on. Let's go watch that. What's going on, dude? Who is this Radon Miyagi person? Dude? <laughs> she found she found the live stream before you did. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Terrible, dude. Hold on. You can meet my thing real quick with George. Let me figure this out. All right. All right, guys. So, yes, this is our first YouTube live, but we're planning on doing many more of these, trying to figure out the right way to go about it. Um, if you guys have any questions for us, leave them in the comment section. We will put them up, and uh, we can answer them. And, yeah, no, we are not cutting our own hair, actually. We are... Well, I'm not cutting my own hair. I'm trying to just grow it out until this is all over. All right, you look like you're back, Blake. Almost, hold on. <laughs> all right, there you go, I'm back. All right, here we go. So what are we doing with all the extra time we have? What have you been doing? <laughs> I've been cleaning up my house, like my closet. I actually had a huge mess, so I'm trying to be more organized. How about you, dude? What are you doing? Um, I've pretty much, I've been trying to cook more stuff and I've actually, I've been watching a lot of TV. Like I was super motivated the first like week and a half of this, like filming stuff and doing stuff in the house. And then after they said, it's going to be another 30 days, I did, it, it hit me hard, man. Yeah, I'm no, just dude, I, like, I, I had a, a birthday. Month? Huh? I know, dude. Happy birthday. I didn't even get to see yeah, you. I know, I know. So yeah, I've just been here now. <laughs> it's been... Cleaning, dude, exactly what I said I'm doing. It's exactly. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's see, Emmanuel. Hey, hope your family are doing inspiration. For my, uh, Emmanuel Reels. What's going on, dude? What are we, what are we planning? Are we, are we planning to do anything with wine, like wine pairings? We are. Yeah. We've been talking we about, are. we've been talking about this video for so long. We, it just, wine is such like a huge category that, I mean, at least with whiskey, you can separate it between bourbon and scotch and kind of just do the categories. But like, even like, I, 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 there's so many different kinds of Cabernet. Like it's... Yeah, it's I mean, tough. I think I think we should just start off with like wines per, like, you know, I think for like a specific price point. So I think because there's different types of wines, there's also different price points in wines. So we do right. like 10 and under, you know, 10 to 30, 38 to 50, and then over 50. I mean, we could yeah. do, we could do the basics, but you know, white wine with fish and chicken, red wine with darker meats, lamb and beef. Unless but, you're having a Viognier. Yeah, but it's not even. Yeah, there's exceptions to every. Like wine is so tough, <laughs> which is which is why we haven't done the video yet because it. I mean, um, forty over fashion right. just did a wine pairing video actually today. So check this out. This guy's asking me. Sorry, mm -hmm. navy suit. With black shoes, I I always wear navy suits with black shoes. I actually haven't been wearing that many brown shoes as I don't like. Yeah, you wear a lot of black. I don't wear any black. You don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you but you're a little louder than, than I am. <laughs> you know. You can definitely wear Just black like, black shoes with like that's why a navy suit is the best suit. Yeah, because yeah. Because you can wear any navy color suit, shoes. Navy suit should be is like your black suit. Right. Yes. Um, shower peak for a tuxedo it just depends dude. if it's like a formal occasion i think you want to do a peak and if it's like just like a gala you could do a shawl uh it's for his wedding oh for you oh then dude freaking uh whatever you want yeah whatever you want i, I did both yeah i did i did two shawl colors because i made you guys wear <laughs> peak yeah and it's better now it's my wife right here <laughs> we're, doing, babe, we're, we're testing out um my wife right here my wife. My wife Ashley. <laughs> uh, we're testing out a uh, YouTube. Me and Georgie. <laughs> we're just at, we're doing a quick uh, twenty minute. You guys are with people. Yeah, yeah, twenty minutes right there. Hey George. Hey. Wait, is this with people or just? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. What is what's the best way to test your haircut after having the same one for a long time? Well, this is delayed, right? Grow out your hair. one for a long time. Grow out your hair. Just grow it out. I think right now the time for everybody to start growing out their hair. Just don't give a an f about what's going on. Just grow out your hair, and then after quarantine, you could cut it. Yeah, like a certain style. And Blake's growing his beard out, so I think my beard is long <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, it's it's so tough once you get like into the 
the real work world to do something like I had mohawks and like bleach blonde hair and I dyed my hair black when I was younger but like after I got a job working at like Discovery Channel you couldn't walk in with a mohawk anymore so it's it's tough to kind of like I've had the same haircut for <laughs> for 10 years you know I, babe, babe, George is talking about having a mohawk and a, and a mole. I did. <laughs> a I, tangent, dude. You're going off on a mean tangent. But I'm just like, how do you change? Like, <laughs> what have you? How had, do you change hair? You know, I, I think they meant like, okay, like, so say you always had a side part. How do you, how do you change the side part? Like, I think you, first you just grow out your hair and you change the product. So you go from using prom, pomade to like paste, from paste to like, uh, I don't know, like a clay. And it's going to give you like a different feel. Also go from, something that has like texture like uh so basically if you want like a like a matte hair you go you want like a clay but that has texture in it because then it, it's gonna look dry you, like your hair is gonna be styled but it's gonna look dry it's not gonna look wet i think that's what they meant but what if you want to change your like what if you want like jesus hair or something i mean you, you just gotta uh, go first for of it. all don't don't blaspheme and i think yeah, i think you should grow out your hair or you just shave it off everyone i mean right now it seems like the trend is every guy is shaving their head yeah. So I think you should just, you know, start with that. That's that's the quickest way to change your hairstyle. All right. I wouldn't shave my head, though. So says, Blake, now that you're home, can we do a closet tour? <laughs> yes. I would do one. I would do one next week. So basically, George and I, we're going to start filming videos independently, like I said. So he's going to film there. I'm going to film here. Uh, we're going to try to be around the same topic or at least close to it. Yes. Right? That's That's the plan. Um, except for cooking, George is gonna do like in-house cooking, and I'm gonna do barbecuing. Yeah, because I don't have a grill, grill-free. Right. I actually just got a charcoal grill, dude. I saw for that I for that sear. Out. Did you see that sear? Damn, it was so good, bro. It was really good. We got a Camaro question for you. Uh, where is it at? How much horsepower or torque did you get from tuning your Camaro Ooh, recently? Ooh, you waited. On the first one, I, on, on the first run with the dyno, I broke 404, but then I had a, so basically it takes, it could take like five, five runs on a dyno to determine your horsepower, but my, I had a small vacuum leak, so I think we finished at 400 something, and then he did it again, so today when I pick up my car, I'm going to tell you exactly what I ended up with uh, after the dyno. But like I said, it, I had a small vacuum leak, so we, we had to fix that first because that was taken away from the horsepower. And this is rear wheel horsepower. This is like true horsepower, not flywheel. So what you see on the side of the cars where it says like 396 or it says 285, right? That's the that's the flywheel horsepower. So for true horsepower, you subtract about 50 to 60 horsepower. So you know, like the new Hellcats, they say 404 or they say um, 392. Yeah. Subtract 50. So it'll be like 330 horsepower, 340 horsepower. That's what they're really getting. Oh, just I, so you guys know. I always thought the the number was the engine size. No, no, I think it's I no, that's the horsepower. Oh, oh yeah, there's the block size, and then right. there's also like the horsepower. So like uh, a Maserati gets like 540 horsepower. Then you take away like the 40 or whatever, and it'll be like. But yeah, that 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 you're right. That is the engine size. <laughs> um, I was forced to trim my own hair. Wow. Did you use an actual trimmer? Or was it just like, uh, did you cut it with scissors or how? I, I, I don't reckon, I, I'm just leaving my hair. I'm wearing, more, wearing a lot of hats. Can you recommend Maybe. any men's style books? Dude, yeah, hair, I have one right here. Give, right me, give me a second. So Blake's going to get all his style books. Um, I actually got him the Ralph Lauren book for Christmas. Let's see if he if he brings it over. So I have this three of them. <laughs> hey, I have three of them that I just recently. So this is a quick one right here. So it's called Men in This Town. It's a really good book. Um, and there's if you want to learn about bespoke and about like traditional tailoring, this is the one. Yeah. And then. This is a classic that every guy should own. Now, I own all three of them. George got me this one. And it's just Ralph Lauren. Is, I mean, this is a staple. Any guy should own at least one book from Ralph Lauren. Just my thing. 
this guy said he got clippers no fade all even nice dude oh, i mean that's that's the that's the way to do it if you can just do one yeah. length buzz hey uh, just joe Gam this guy's name is joe gambit rodriguez this guy's growing his hair out that's the way that's to do smart. it that's what I, that's what i would do right now i mean i've been getting haircuts so. <laughs> look how long my hair is i'll do that's that's ridiculous my hair is not not that long well it's getting there yeah, yours pretty long, dude. I mean, <laughs> so um, what videos do the do you guys want to see? Yes, what what videos should we do while we're in quarantine? Leave us some suggestions right now. We got we got fifty one people watching right now. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, for pretty our, much we're like Drake and Tor we're like Drake and Tory Lanez right now, dude. I mean, for for our. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some cars, Blake? Yes, sir. I have a few. <laughs> uh, what tailoring is your favorite? English, French, Italian? I think I'm a cross between. I love it. I love the, a good Italian flair. I love it. If I'm getting a suit that's like traditional, I'm gonna go for an English suit. Mm -hmm. If I want something that has a little bit more pop, Italian, and a cross between the two would be like a Japanese style suit. Oh. Wow, what so fancy. Um, I like I like it's I like English cuts with Italian flair. Like I like the classic classic style, but like the little slimmer with the waists with the, the way the Italians do it. Mm, sexy. Know. All right. Someone's asking what the word bespoke means. Custom, like do you want to give them a little? You? Um, oh, you have the definition. I don't know. I don't. So just go ahead and say it, George. Bespoke is essentially like made for you. Like the pattern is made specifically for you. It is custom, exactly what you want. There is you have the options to pretty much handle any part of suit making. Like if you want three pockets on it, they'll put three pockets on it. Which you should never. Well, I mean, ticket pocket, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, get it. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Collection videos. That's good. We could you could do your shoe collection. You could do your suit collection. Those are easy. Yeah, definitely. We'll do that for sure. Everyday carry. Well, you know, right now my everyday carry is completely different. A AirPods. I have hand sanitizer. I carry <laughs> gloves. I carry a mask. Um, those are like my everyday carries. Sweatpants. And, and dude, I, I've actually my wife has been using mostly Apple Pay. So at least you don't have to take out her card and touch like machines, dude. Yeah. No, I mean, well, that's true, but then you have to touch your phone to the thing, don't you? Yeah, but your phone's already sanitized. You don't have to touch your thing. You just got to just get to the barcode. Mm. They want to see a crib tour. Dude, George, you got to do yours, dude. Yours is nice. <laughs> yeah, I got one. I'll let me pick up my, my desktop computer and uh, take you guys around. <laughs> <laughs> Um, makeover series, which we had planned to do, honestly. We already had the guy and everything, right? Yeah, we were going to do, we had our first guy we were going to do, and we were going to test out the series, um, but then this happens. So, hopefully, May, June, we can get it going. Which made-to-measure company do you like? Made-to-measure, I mean, it's, I mean... Uh, it depends on what, like you, it. what you want to spend. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think Indochino is doing a great made to measure. Yeah. I think nobody really talks about suit supplies made to measure, but there's a few, like, suits, to me, especially the one in LA in Century City, um, his name is Michael. He's their made to measure specialist. Wow. He's, like, really good. Right. And I think it's, a, it's really important to mention that with made to measure, a lot of it depends on who measures you. Yeah. Because, you know, we've, we've done, you know, a lot of different made-to-measure suiting companies and some suits come out phenomenal, some don't. But then I've also yeah. had the opposite reaction from like comments on YouTube that being like, Indochino's the worst suit I ever got. And I never had that experience because we got measured, we asked for what we wanted. Um, so that's kind I of mean, important. But I think people have to realize that when you get a made-to-measure suit, uh, there, there's adjustments that have to be made. So even when you get your suit back, there has to be adjustments that have to be made, and those in, those adjustments have to be inputted into the computer or into the, the the book, and then after that, your next one is going to be on point. 
show us your fragrance collection. So George, the big fra fragrance guy, like this guy is, dude, he's, you know, so you can show yours. <laughs> I'll show mine too, but I, don't, I only have about three. Blake's got the bougie fragrances though. No, dude, I love uh, Hugo Boss. I used to Hugo Boss a lot. Tom Ford. I, I love Labo. Tom Ford. That's it, dude. Do you still use oh, Labo? I, I do. I do. I use that. Um, that's like an almost an everyday one. That's yeah. Um, someone said she wore gloves when you get gas. Always did. You know what? My brother-in-law's been wearing gloves for years when he puts gas. So he's already been ahead of this game. I haven't driven my car in like twenty days. Lucky. <laughs> have you start? Have you went to start it right? No. I probably should go Ooh. down and start yeah, it. You should go down. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Do you see this question? Make a video about the dark side of fashion. Like this the, the true cost. Um, I, 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 that's a video you can do. I pulled it up. I, I've done a few videos on like how H&M and Zara are, you know, you're throwing away clothes every quarter instead of having some like buying pieces that last a long time. Like you kind of got to invest in your clothes and, buy classic pieces but if you want to be trendy it's tough to be trendy and buy classic pieces at the same time so it's it's tough to be on top of fashion and like ahead of the curve and then also invest in pieces that are going to last you 20 years yeah i mean it's just i mean i i think it's just that's too conceptual i think with fashion it's just you know you can make anything work for any budget you know if you're a guy who's on a fifty dollar budget, you can make something work. If you're a guy who's, you know, on a ten thousand dollar budget, you can make something work. It's just you have to feel confident in what you're wearing. That's that's the first and foremost. Right. Um, do you guys do any sewing yourselves? Nope. I don't do any sewing. Actually I used to when I had the Atlas and Mason. I, I sewed I sewed all the tags on the shirts uh -huh. and all the tags into the I tailored a few pairs of pants myself, but I recommend going to a tailor. Especially if you paid a lot of money for your pants. Someone says, who's my favorite designer? So my favorite designer is, you read that? <laughs> Tom Ford. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, not, I, don't, I only own a few pieces. But I don't even know a lot, but I just love it. I'm inspired by Tom Ford and, you know, what he's about, where he's come from, how he's built his empire, how he's still, like, passionate about what he does. I mean, what's great about Tom Ford is if you look at his stuff when he was at Gucci – like you could still wear that stuff today. It's, yeah, it's yeah, literally definitely. timeless, and you know it, it. It has kind of a '90s flair to it, but it wasn't crazy '90s. It was still classic yeah, yeah. men's tailoring, and his style today is still very similar to what he was doing. It's so hard to exactly. do that, like do the same thing for 20 years and still have it look good. Yeah, yeah, it's super hard. This is um. Let's see. Do you guys love Guinness? How oh, yeah, I love Guinness, dude. I don't. My, really? Uh, my wife is a big uh, Guinness fan. She, she loves uh, like porters and stouts. I, I so can't do the I dark have... beer, man. I'll do, I'll, do Irish, I'll do Irish whiskey all day, though. Irish whiskey with, like, with a good amount of water? Oh, so good. Isolation. Do you think that, oh, sorry, go do for you it. Do you think the narrow... Okay. I heard that Tom Ford saved Gucci. Exactly. I think she's shining business over time is declining. It just depends on where you're at. So if you're in, if you're in New York City, shoe shining is still huge. In Mexico City, it's huge. Um, in downtown LA, there's a shoe shiner at the Los Angeles Athletic Club who has literally bought houses off of shoe shining. Like he he's he's the head shoe shiner in the club, and his clientele is like upscale and he's really really established himself he has a whole team now i mean i wish there was more shoe shiners in la because i don't really like to do it honestly well this guy said great cigar videos but what about pipes i don't i don't smoke pipes i don't smoke a pipe either um no i mean, i'd I love to do a photo shoot with one yeah i'm not a beer it's a stout but uh stout i got it um Got it. What does that say? Procrastinating was not was not what. 
um, I think it was before that with the what's the best brand for printed shirts. I wanted to try them for vacation, but only got cheap Target shirts instead for time reasons. I actually just did H and M. I'm a big H and M guy, so H and M and Express those those are like my go to. I mean, this is original yeah. Penguin, and it's that's the thing is if you if you're getting a vacation shirt that you're only gonna wear for vacation. I mean, get a nice shirt that has fits you well, but also don't spend 120 bucks on it because you're only going to wear it, you know, maybe five or six times a year. Exactly. Oh, nice. Oh, this is Amir. Amir has a, this is my fan page. Oh, Scott, what's up, Amir? <laughs> there you go. You're four years old now. I'm four years old. My, dude, he's had my fan page for four years. Wow, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amir. <laughs> what's up, Philip? What's up, Big Phil? Everyday gentleman, I'm just smoking more pipes than cigars. I'm really enjoying it. I think, like, honestly, a pipe is kind of nice because you can smoke for as long as you want. Like a cigar, you've got a time limit based on yeah. how big your cigar is, and you don't ever waste well, it. Te technically, with the pipe as well, you have to keep adding. Well, I know, but I mean, you could go... Wait, what, what, what kind of pipe are you talking about? <laughs> No, he smokes a tobacco pipe. He sent me a few photos of it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, you can you can keep adding it, but you can go for an hour or you can go for five minutes if you want. Like a cigar at least is 15, 20 minutes. Opinion on Burberry okay. trench coats. So I've always wanted one. I think um, it's like an iconic staple piece that you should own if if you're in an area that actually has a lot of rain or at least you know, some rain. Right. Um, I don't own one. My wife owns one and, and she loves it. Um, I feel like at, at, one, at some point in your life, you can get one and I feel like they're more affordable now than they were in the past. I think if you're gonna own one thing from Burberry, that's the one thing you should own. How that's you, what they started with. That, I mean, that's, I always say that, like if you're gonna go with like a classic piece, you should buy it from the originator of that piece, you know, like, like Gucci makes a trench coat now, Tom Ford probably makes a trench coat, but like the quintessential trench coat is a Burberry trench. Exactly. You know, one hundred percent. I agree. Dude, someone says, "Do you know about the owners and pets looking similar?" Blake and his dog and his Doberman. Yesterday, dude, I swear, <laughs> to, I swear, my wife was on the phone with somebody and they said that my Do my Doberman and me look alike. <laughs> I think it was cat. I don't know. That's so funny. You do kind of look like a Doberman. Is it? Is it the Shanaz or what is it? Do I look like a wiener dog? Radon, Radon, Radon looks like our dog more than I do. Have you guys had a good workout routine? Actually, I haven't. Um, since I'm asthmatic, I've been kind of like staying away from actual like extreme activity. I've been walking and I've been like just trying to eat and, you know, as good as I can and as well as I can without having to really work out. But I did. My wife just got me a a uh, boxing. Uh, what is it called? A punchy bag for my birthday. So I'm gonna be boxing. I I started like I said the first five days of quarantine. I was doing at home workouts, doing all the push up challenges. Like I see, sweating my butt off in my living room. And then I heard the news of 30 more days inside, and I'm like, ugh, it, it like killed me. I need to get back to it though. Someone says, what are you guys doing to stay busy? So as of right now, I've been, so we used to travel a lot and I know I could, I'm speaking for myself, but I could also speak to you that like we used to neglect parts of our house, meaning like, I mean, I would, I would get clothes and I would change and just throw the clothes and it just started piling up. So now like my wife and I, we've been really working on that. It's mostly me because she's pretty organized, but I've been cleaning up and getting more organized. Um, and like my room is now like I could actually shoot videos there for you guys. So yeah, how about you, dude? Uh, I've been trying to cook a lot more, just hanging out at home, spending time with the pup. Um, actually, I cleaned out our email inbox, which we had like dude, we had like twenty thousand emails, and I collectively over like my three different emails that I run. And granted, a lot of it was spam, but I got it down to I think thirty. So. That was, it, that was a weight off it. my shoulders. Um, I was trying to figure out how to 
kind of organize our Instagram so we can have things ready to go. So that's what I've been doing, just kind of trying to get more organized while we have the free time and know where to go. Next question, Jordy. Uh, how do we maintain the GL business now? At what does times, that mean? What does that mean? Like, how do we, how are we staying alive in times like this? Doing exactly this right now. Yeah, I mean, I think all of our all of our campaigns either got canceled or pushed to June. So right now we are just kind of hanging out. Luckily, a lot of our payments get paid net 90 and net 60. So we still got some stuff trickling in for the next couple months. I know. I know. But um, Luckily, yeah. yeah, so as of right now, we, we haven't, everything's got pushed because no one wants to put out content in the time of coronavirus. Do we like watches? I love watches. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I, I love watches as well. I don't have as many as Blake, but I do love watches. Can you guess what watch I'm wearing right now? Carla Fuker. I'm actually wearing. Oh, <laughs> dang. All the watch guys are about to sign off right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's functional right now. I can, you know, it's, it's easy, dude. Um, are you stocked up on food and supplies? I got a ton of food. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, mean, I don't have a ton of food, but I have enough. Um, there's this one Charlotte Boulder says, hang in there, guys. We're trying. <laughs> That's my George mom. not letting me hang in there, but I'm trying. <laughs> my mom's <laughs> on here. Uh, Any videos you think you guys are going to put together out in the week? Well, I'm going to try to shoot for two videos a week. I think we should still maintain our same routine. Yes. We're going to try to just, you know, just get back on it again. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we need to start putting out three videos a week. I can, we can film two videos each at home per week. No problem. Definitely. It's yeah. just sitting down and doing it when you know you're not going to have anything else to do for the next 30 days. So you're like, I got time to do it, but I need to get What's on up, it. What's up, Russia? <laughs> Dang. You're getting the comments yeah. before I am. Really? Yeah. Nice. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to put them up on the screen, and you're already like rattling them off. Someone says, any news from Bucater on the new watches? So, yeah, I'm actually actually just promoted a new watch. It's a Manta Trust that they're doing. Um, I'm going to have more photos on it on my personal Instagram. But a lot of the watch conventions were canceled, like the Basel World and because of everything that's going on. So that's going to be on hold. Yep. Um... Scott, do you still ride the BMW bike? Unfortunately, I don't. I sold it. Sold yeah. it. When are you going to do a video of the closet? Are you going to do one, George? I need to clean my closet, but I could definitely. Get to it, dude. I need mean, this is this is our this is our office where all of our overflow from Jen's Lounge came to. So as you can see, it's not the most organized at the moment, but I know where everything is. How do you guys feel about vintage clothing? Love it. What brand is your best silver watch? My silver watch is a Carla Fuker. Yes. Uh, mine is a Parmigiani Florier. Yeah. yeah. You guys ready? You, guys ready for two? you yeah. know what? I was I was ready, <laughs> and then I kind of <laughs> yeah. I got out of shape, so I'm, I'm going to try to get back in there. I am not ready at all. <laughs> Ronald says... Closet video, please. We're going to try one. Okay, guys? I'm, I promise. You just cleaned your closet. Like, you're up first for that. All right. I'll do it. But, I, yeah, I think we should do collection videos, like our shoe collection. Like, do we do all the shoes or just, like, favorite, like, top ten? Mm. I mean, you could show your I closet, see. but you don't have to explain yeah, yeah. every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. I say we do that first. Because mine are all in boxes, and I don't want to take the Yours are at least nicely displayed. I mean, if you guys see it on my TikTok. Dude, are you on TikTok, George? I'm on TikTok. It's mostly my should... dog on TikTok at this point. but Do we follow each other? Mm-hmm. Well, I follow you. I don't know if you follow me. Uh, make sure you, you write to me so I know so I like follow you. What is your TikTok? Uh, Allison Mason. Really? Yes. My TikTok is... Let's see. What is mine? What's your... I think my TikTok is... Like Scott. What's your favorite underscore. classic scar classic car? Classic cigar? Classic car. Oh. 
Classic car, I think. Um, I love the Gulling, the Mercedes. Yeah. I love that one. I think from the 70s, I would go for Firebird, like a Trans Am, 78, Ooh. Burt Reynolds. 65 mm. Chevelle. 65 Chevelle, that's mean, dude. That's the dream right there. We should do Teaching Men Fashion 30 Day Push Up Challenge. We should do that. Yeah. I can do push ups uh, for 30 days. Split your shoe collection into multiple videos boots, sneakers, etc. You that's, got it. That's a good idea. You got it. What else? Any more questions, George? Um, what's your opinion on the Comme des Garçons Converse? I love them. I don't own a pair, but I, I like them. Yeah. They're really they, nice, yeah. Uh, how do we feel about suits with trainers? Well, I, I like them, too. I think it, you should. You have to just have confidence when you're, when you're doing a suit, like when you're rocking a suit with trainers. Yes. You can't feel like, and your pants have to be a little bit more cropped than normal. Yes, that your suit like it has to be, it has to fit. Yes, um, definitely, one hundred percent. And yes, you have to wear it with confidence and make sure your suit fits. If you have like a half break in your pants and your pants are a little baggy, it's not going to look right. Yes, says, do you like GTO style cars? Meaning like, um, like just like Chevelles, like those kind of cars, or or like the actual GTO, which I thought like pa the Pontiac, like Pontiac GTO. Yeah. Which I thought I was your father-in-law had, but he has uh, what did he get? He has a Firebird. Okay, but he it has, has it, But the GTO has that speedometer that's on the hood of the car, right? The tachometer. Tachometer, the, yeah. The, the tech is on the on the hood. Yeah, yeah. That's GTOs came that way. I think the Le Mans a few years came that way. There's a few cars. Favorite brand um, of chinos. You know what, dude? When I recently got those Indochino chinos, wow. I know they're, they're they're legit, dude. Well, because I really like them. They were custom, like they fit yeah. perfect. Also, Club Monaco makes a killer chino, dude. For you. <laughs> so that's the other thing, guys. Is what fits Blake perfectly and what fits me perfectly are usually two totally different brands. George got that apple bottom. <laughs> I played hockey for like twenty years since I was four years old. So. Mitch says, do you, do you own GH Bass Weegens? Yes, I do. You do. I own two pair. Yeah, I love them. I can't wear that loaf. I can't wear that penny loafer style. They're water resistant, dude. I love them for like summer, spring. Oh, perfect. What's your favorite white sneaker? Mm. I love, as a, I mean, it just depends. Like if it's like a Converse style sneaker, then I like like a nothing new. If it's like a trainer i like like a nike yeah you know I, I mean i love white sneakers i'm gonna show you guys my white sneaker collection i have like 15 pairs of just white sneakers i'd say for me probably koyo or taft someone says pontiac gto for our gto <laughs> I mean, it's big it's big one's american and one's i think if you're if you're going to compare a ferrari you have to compare it to like a daytona or like a shelby or something of that nature. I don't think you can compare it to a, a Pontiac GTO. It's different. Yeah, you can't you can't compare a Ferrari to a stock American-made car, especially no. in that era. I just think it's different. You have to compare it to. I mean, you could compare it to like a Shelby, you know, or something like that. But I don't think you could you compare it to like a Pontiac, like a, like a true American car. Right. Do you do we still have do you still have the Chino suits that we made a video on the Combat Gent ones? I don't know if I I don't even think I still have that suit. That was like four years ago. I know, I don't think so. Someone said toaster studios or pop tarts. Pop tarts all day, babe. You like a toaster studio or do you a strudel or do you like a pop tart? Pop tart all day. Ooh. Who is this guy, Christian Lazo? <laughs> I don't. Toaster strudels are bomb though, but you have to like you actually have to heat them up. Yeah, I agree. What else? Let's see. I'm actually going to get, you know what? I wonder if I should do a live once I get my car. Probably. Oh, I know. Show I'm going to burn out. That's a, dude, you should do a... Um, burn out video? Do a, car, burn out? do a car review of your car for the channel. 
do a car review of my car. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Like you were doing a car that they like someone gave you, but it's your car. You can tell you can exactly. actually tell everyone what you did do it, how you did it. That'd be good. Road it says road and truck tested them each other back in the day. Oh really? How how did how did it turn out? What's your favorite Jordan retro retro threes, dude? Cement threes. Fives. Great fives. Like how old do you <laughs> how how old do I look? A I feel twenty five. <laughs> Me too. Do we, do you sell any? Do you sell your clothes? Do you, are you are you on Poshmark? I I am on Poshmark. I'm actually gonna re up my Poshmark and start selling next week. So come Monday, I'll have some new Poshmark deals. Yes, and I, just, I sell my shit for cheap. I just I just uploaded. Um, are you Blake Scott on Poshmark? Yeah, I'm I'm, at, I'm Blake Scott. And then I'm Allison Mason on Poshmark as well. Could you write? Wait, wait. Yeah, I'll add it in. Yeah, can you add it in there? Vintage cars are put. You know what? I actually got a fuel a fuel leak in my on my uh, 560SL. I need to get it fixed. If I can sp spell everything correctly this time. Uh, mm, this guy says, "What's the boldest suit you both own?" Maybe. We should also put up our um, TikTok. Well, it's the same, right? Oh, no, you got an no, underscore. My, yeah, I got a stupid underscore, man. Killing that me. damn Blake Scott keeps stealing your name. He does, dude. You GTA, G, GTO 01. Well, back in the day, the GTO was sick, dude. It was. Yeah. I think it was like a 442. It was a big block. It was huge, dude. Sick. Well, I mean, American muscle cars were meant to go in a straight line. Yeah, Ferraris are just so sexy, dude. But like, did they do? Did they do a race around a track, or was it just a drag race? We don't oh, we, know. We don't got the full I story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the boldest suit you own? I think I own like a pinkish red suit. I think that like I got that alpaca suit supply like the it's like a window pane textured what well, about that purple one you have that lavender one oh that's true too the one well the one we did when that's the, bold, the video dude. we did how to style bold suits i think that's yeah, my yeah. boldest suit would you spend more on a leather shoe or a jacket Fuck. i mean i mm, they're about the same price right i say jacket because you're only going to have one. You'll have multiple leather shoes, right? Yeah, I agree. Would we ever we visit that. Nashville, Blake? Yeah, we did, dude. <laughs> I'm, I was supposed to go back May 1st. I was supposed to be in Nashville on May 1st to the 11th. Um, if we can actually travel by then, which I don't think we're going to be able to, I will be there. So I'll be there in Nashville from the 7th to the 11th. Maybe we can do like a coffee meetup or something. If I can travel. But we should do this again. Um, today is what? Today's Thursday? Yes. Um, we should try to do one again um, on Saturday morning. That'd be nice. If you could, you know, like have uh, some, if you guys send us either DMs or how should we answer questions? Right. We can, or we can we, or, write the questions out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you and I could do like a quick uh, closet tour together or something, you know? Yeah, I, if I can figure out how to set this up on my phone where I can act, because you can move around, but I have to stay at the computer because I'm hosting this whole thing. Um, but I'm yeah, sure I can I move can, around. I can figure out how to do it as well. Someone says, rocking that Mercedes hat. Yep. <laughs> Botox. I also have a, a Lewis Hamilton one. Right now, I'm Team Mercedes. We jump ship from Team Ferrari. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we should schedule it more often. Uh, we're going to do, maybe we could do a video and telling everyone that we're going to be doing lives more often so you guys could tune in and we could just uh, be more interactive and get more of you guys on. Right. So I think, we'll, oh, sorry. I think only, we can figure out what's the best time. If people, people have to hit the notification, like the bell icon to get notified when we go live or else they don't know. So I don't think, think should, I, don't, uh, I don't think you get a message unless um, you're hitting the the bell icon. All right, well, you should 
write that down so they get it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> but I need to get my car now, so I'm gonna have to sign off. Whatever, Blake. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me put this up here for at least a quick a quick second. Blake, you're on a Thursday boot site, correct? How was it? the leather jacket? It's sick, dude. I actually own one. It was sick. I I, I had to get one. Like I, I yeah. it's like it's not too stiff, you know, it's just just right. Yes. All right, last question. One style of suit for the rest of your life. Single breasted, double breasted, or three piece? Single breasted, uh, peak lapel, not wide, just peaked, uh, with cuffs, mm, ticket pocket. But what's what's a not wide? Like how how wide are the lapels? No, no, like so there's thin, there's yeah. medium, and there's wide. I would do medium. So like two if it's, if it's, two and a yeah, half. If it's, yeah, about two, two and a half. Not not too loud, just like just enough. Okay, so next live Saturday morning, we're gonna try to announce it a little bit in advance. This was just kind of a test to figure out if it actually works or not, and I think it does. So this was pretty cool, guys. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.